In our last videos, we showed how to use the Quick Design Projects and Quick Design Cabinet toolbars. The Quick Design Environment contains two other toolbars, Quick Design Methods and Quick Design 3D. The Quick Design Methods toolbar contains the main manufacturing methods and sub-methods commands for a quick access when designing your projects. The Quick Design 3D toolbar has a condensed version of the standard Polyboard 3D toolbar. Let's have a look at how to use these toolbars to set up 3D presentations of a cabinet and a project. Let's open an example for project from the Quick Design models that are installed with the libraries. Here is a basic kitchen made using the Quick Design libraries. Let's open a cabinet so that we can start editing it. Here is the cabinet opened in cabinet edit mode. If I open the 3D view of my cabinet, we can see the Quick Design methods and the Quick Design 3D toolbars. Let's have a look at the Quick Design 3D toolbar. The first button in the Quick Design 3D toolbar is simply a 3D view button. If I click it, I will open a second 3D view of my cabinet. If I right click the second 3D view tab, I can open up a new vertical tab group and I will now have two 3D views of my same cabinet. Both 3D views are in a textured view. Clicking the third button on the Quick Design 3D toolbar, which is Hidden Faces, one of these views now becomes a wire-framed view. My screen is now displaying a 3D view in the textured and a 3D view in wireframe. The fourth button, opening doors and drawers, will open the doors and drawers in a specific view. Note that the Quick Design 3D toolbar is now acting on the active 3D window. If I want to activate another 3D window, for instance, I want to open and close the drawers in the textured view, I click in the textured view and then click doors and drawers. I'm going to click into the wireframe view and we can see here the 3D tooling button allows me to display or not display the hardware elements that are in my project. This is useful if you have a lot of hardware to display because calculating the position of each hole and drawing the drilling patterns can take some computer time so it might slow down your display. The last button can add shadows to our 3D image. Of course this will not show in the wireframe but if I click in the textured view Let's open the drawers and now let's add shadows. We get a more realistic view of our model. Let's see how to change the different aspects of our cabinet by using the Quick Design Methods toolbar. For instance, let's change the hardware we use to build the cabinet. To do this, I'm just going to click on the Quick Design Methods Fittings Links button choose another way of building it for instance let's choose a mini fix and dowel construction apply it to my cabinet i can see in our wire frame view that all the hardware has been updated note that the quick design methods has affected the whole model so both 3d views have actually been updated even though in the textured view i don't see it However, if I want to update, for instance, the way we're actually putting edging on our panel in this particular cabinet, I can use the Quick Design Methods edging style. If I apply an edging style to my cabinet, we can see this time in the textured view, the edgings have, have been applied and we can see them. Whereas in the wireframe view, of course, we can't see the actual edging. I can also use, of course, all the other different methods. For instance, the material style methods, we can change the materials that the, the cabinet is being built with by simply applying a materials method. And this will again show in the Quick Design textured view, but not, of course, in the wireframe view. Let's go back to our project and see how the Quick Design toolbars can help us set up a 3D presentation of our project. I have here a screen display with both the 2D and the 3D views. To experiment with our design, we can just change different properties of an element by 
clicking on it in 2D do to select, for instance, the floor here, I can see its properties on the right hand side. For instance, if I want to change the tiling, I just click on the texture, file name, I choose another tiling, let's choose something like slate, open it, and the floor is updated. In the same way, I can use the panels materials buttons in the quick design project toolbar to change the facades of our project. If I click on panels materials, I can choose for instance the materials that make up our door fronts and our doors. Let's change their aspect, put it on another type of panel and our project will be updated. To get a better 3D presentation I can just click the 3D shadows button. And of course it's easy to display our project with the doors open or with no doors at all. So I hope that this series of videos has given you an overview of how to use the Quick Design toolbars. For more detailed presentations on how to use Polyboard and Quick Design, please see the other videos on our Wood Designer website. Thank you for looking. Goodbye.